Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you were new, welcome, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of the polishes that I have picked for my Halloween manicures. I was able to become part of a lovely collaboration with a group of ladies here on YouTube that are putting together Halloween racks for this year. I had my fall rack just go up and I did not even think about putting a Halloween rack together. I was like, I'm still kind of in fall mode. I haven't even thought of Halloween polishes. So I did kind of take some of these polishes from my my fall rack to put in for Halloween manicures. What I plan on doing for my manicures for the month of October is to do every other. I am going to try to do like fall manicures one day and then the next one will be a Halloween kind of manicure and bounce back and forth just to let myself use up polishes from my Halloween picks and my fall picks at the same time. I have lots of polishes to go through between these two. Don't know if I'll get through all of them or not, but I did want to just try and join in with this group of ladies and pick polishes for Halloween specifically. So let's go ahead and get into it. I want to be sure to thank Amanda from the Nail Polish Hound. She organized this collaboration. She does the seasonal rack collaborations. She does all of the hard work putting everything together. And then Jackie from Nurse Jackie here on YouTube goes through and puts the list together for each of us to put in our description boxes. So thank you to those two ladies for all their hard work and putting these together. I am excited to share my picks with you guys. I hope that you're excited to see what I have chosen. Let's go ahead and just get into it. So the first one for Halloween is this one by Polish. This is There's No Place Like Home. I had this one on my fall rack to wear and wanted to pull out a red for Halloween, and my husband actually chose this polish. thought this would be perfect. It is a gorgeous red shimmer polish that I knew I had to pull out. This is what that one looks like. This is three coats of There's No Place Like Home. I love the shimmer in here. I love the depth of this polish. I really had to make sure to pull this one out because it is so beautiful. Another red that has been in my collection for years and I have not actually reached for in a long time. This is by China Glaze and this is called Red Pearl. This is a cult classic. If you are familiar with China Glaze, this polish has been around for many years. I've had this in my collection for a very, very long time. This is one that I used to take with me to the nail salon back in early to late 2000s, and I've had it in my collection ever since. This is the same bottle, and I just was going through my collection recently and thought, you know what? This would be a beautiful polish for Halloween. I love everything about this one. Absolutely beautiful. This is what it looks like in two coats. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is perfect for Halloween. It is gorgeous. The formula on this was just as good as I remembered. It, opaque in two coats. Beautiful formula. I love everything about this one. I have a couple oranges here. This is a new to me polish. This is by Wildflower Lacquer and this is called Autumnal Winds from the Dark Forest Collection. This one has been on my list to wear since I picked it up. I just got it in the mail last week and I thought this is going to be beautiful for fall and Halloween. I love colors like this. This is a one coat polish. I'm excited. I am so excited to try this one. On my swatch, I do believe I did two coats. It was fully opaque in one. So that is what it looks like. This is so sparkly, so beautiful. I am excited to try that one. Another orange is an untried. This is by Potion Polish. This one is called October. This is from her fall collection for 2022. This is a pumpkin spice orange with holographic flakes. This is it in two coats. I thought it was going to be similar to the Wildflower Lacquer Polish. In person, they definitely are a little bit different. I don't know if they're looking different on camera. I feel like this one is much brighter. This one's more of like a rusty spice orange. This one's a little bit brighter. But I thought both of these would be perfect for Halloween. Who doesn't love a good orange manicure? So I'm excited to try both of those. I picked a 
gray polish. I don't have many colors like this in my collection, and I was trying to figure out what I needed. My husband's like, you need a gray of some sort. You need a dark gray or something. So I pulled this one from Morgan Taylor. This is called Smoke the Competition. This is from the Disney Villains collection that came out a few years ago. It is a cream polish, one of my favorites. This is opaque in one to two coats. I did two coats on my swatch for full opacity. But I thought a good gray cream would be really nice for Halloween manicures to pair with some of these other ones. So this is what that Morgan Taylor polish looks like in two coats. Really nice formula. Not sure what I'm going to do with this particular polish for manicures yet, but I think I do plan to pair it with a few that are coming up here that I'll be showing you. So that is two coats of Morgan Taylor Smoke the Competition. Then I pulled one out from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is also an untried for me. This is They're Coming for the Snail, and this was Polish Pickup for June of this year. It is a beautiful blackened base with purple to green shimmer, and it is a magnetic as well. I think I have a magnet here somewhere to show you guys what this looks like. I got this because I loved how it looked. So you can hopefully see that magnetic shift there. It definitely brings out the shimmer, and you see a whole host of the green shimmer here. And then the magnetic shift is that purple. I thought this would be a really fun one to wear. This is two coats, and I did magnetize it so you can see, running across the top of the nail, you can see the purple magnetic pull there. I thought this would be beautiful. I have not wore it yet, and I was definitely needing something like this. And I thought, you know what? I haven't tried this one. Let's try that. I think it'd be perfect for this. And I have a basic black. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that this is one of my favorites. This is Salon Perfect in Oil Slick. It is just a basic black cream. This is my original bottle, and it is roughly about a third of the way gone. I did buy a backup of this recently because I love it so much. It's one of my favorites. It is a very good quality black, almost a one-coater. It is just a black cream. Then we have a couple purples. This is another one from Wildflower Lacquer that I have not wore yet. This is Oodles of Caboodles. It is very similar to Autumnal Winds. They have that same bigger particle shimmer in there, and then there is holographic sparkle in both of these. I thought both of these together would work as a manicure. I've done that with other manicure combos in the past where I loved the purple and the orange. I'm kind of planning that this time, but we'll see what happens. But I thought this would be a lovely addition for a Halloween manicure. So this is what that looks like in two coats. Very nice, very sparkly, absolutely beautiful. That's two coats of Wildflower Lacquer Oodles of Caboodles. Another purple. This is one of my favorites. This is by China Glaze. This is called Purple Tonium. And it is a beautiful, like, metallic purple. This is opaque in two coats. This came out in the 2021 Halloween collection, and I love this polish. I've worn it once, I think, and I loved it then, so I definitely had to pull it out. Again, I believe I had this on my fall rack, and I think I just pulled it off of there. But that is another great quality purple. This is what it looks like in two coats. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good purple manicure, and I don't wear them near enough. But this is just really speaking to me. Absolutely beautiful. Another purple from Wildflower. This is Untried. This is Perfect Phase to Shine from the Dark Forest Collection. This is absolutely beautiful. This is almost a one coat polish as well. It has a little bit of shimmer that I am seeing that's shifting to like a copper to gold and even maybe a little bit of green or aqua down here at the base. I don't think my camera is going to pick it up, but there is just a little bit of a subtle shifty shimmer in here. On my swatch, this is what it looks like in two coats. In person, I'm not seeing much of that shifty shimmer, and I don't know if it was just me looking at the bottle. I don't think this has that shift to it, but I feel like in the bottle I was seeing other colors. But on the nail, 
I am just seeing that purple and then I feel like there's a little bit of a pink shimmer in here as well. It looks beautiful. Another untried, this is from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is called It's an Effing Promise from the Kingdom of the Wicked Collection. This one is a little bit more squishy on the nail. I believe I did three coats for my swatch. I could not remember how this looked on the nail and I swatched it for this video and thought it's a little bit more squishy. I may pair this over a similar base color and just add the shimmer over top for just a little something extra. It's a little bit more sheer than what I remembered. You could definitely build it up in three coats, but I thought the color with this one would be perfect for Halloween because you've got this beautiful purple base, and then you've got this green, glowy, teal green shimmer in here that I thought would be perfect for Halloween. This is what it looks like in three coats. Definitely comes off a little bit more mulberry-esque as a base to versus purple. I thought it was purple, but I guess it's a little bit more mulberry here on my swatch. And then you have that green shimmer there as well. The next one is a green. This is one that's an untried for me. This is by Great Lakes Lacquer, and this is I Have Been Her Kind. This is a duochrome polish. It is You solely see that beautiful green shimmer, but in the bottle, you're also seeing like a red to orange shift as well. Now, I will say I don't notice that on the nail quite as much as I do in the bottle. I was a little bit surprised by that because I thought... My memory was thinking that this was a little bit more shifty on the nail, but I feel like in person it's really not. This is it in two to three coats, and I feel like you're basically getting that green polish look, whereas there's not a huge amount of shiftiness. I'm trying to see in person, and I'm not seeing a huge amount of shift, but in the bottle you do get a little bit of a duochrome effect to this one. So that is two to three coats of the Great Lakes Lacquer Polish. The next one is another untried for me. I've had this one in my collection for a year at this point. This is by Dainty, Dainty Digits. This is Cute Little Son of a Witch. And this has lots of reflective glitter in there. It is like a deepened black to green base. And then you've got this beautiful glowy green shimmer in here. Then it's packed with the silver reflective glitter, which you guys can clearly see on camera. That is really coming out to play. It is so beautiful. I picked this one up and I have not had a chance to wear it yet. So this is what it looks like in two to three coats. You can see all of that beautiful green glow in this polish. And then you've got that reflective glitter. It's beautiful. This is such a fun polish and I thought this would be perfect for Halloween. Absolutely love it. Don't know why I haven't wore it. I think I've just, I've got a lot of polish and I think I've overlooked it. This next one is one of my personal creations that I made. This is Chartreuse on the Loose. This is a Chartreuse green base. It is like a pearlescent base. And then I added holographic sparkle to it as well when I created this and I love it. I have not wore this yet and I thought what better time to wear it than now. This is going to be perfect. I think this was also on my fall rack to wear so it definitely got bumped from that to this one but this is really beautiful. So this is what it looks like in two coats. You could see all of that holographic sparkle in there. I am excited to pull this one out and try it. I have needed to. It's been in my collection for a little bit, and I've needed to try it. So I am excited to try this one. Then I have a bright yellow. This is by Different Dimensions. This is called Squeeze the Day. This is a bright neon yellow. I saw Nurse Jackie's Halloween rack, and she pulled some colors like this, and I thought, I hadn't even thought about that. Let me go through my collection and see what I can find. So I pulled this one, and I thought this would be fun for something just off the wall, something different that I wouldn't normally pick. Thank you to Nurse Jackie for the inspiration because I wouldn't have thought about colors like this had I not seen her video. This is a really pretty bright polish and then it does have a little bit of some gold shifty shimmer in here as well. This was more opaque than I initially thought it was. This is two coats 
of Squeeze the Day, I was floored. I did not realize this was opaque in two coats. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but I thought this would be perfect for Halloween. Absolutely stunning. So now I'm going to show you guys real quick a couple toppers that I pulled. I have this one from KB Shimmer. This is Take It or Leave It. This is a beautiful fall-esque topper, but I thought it would work great for Halloween as well. I've seen so many ladies on Instagram wearing this recently. Definitely did not have this on my radar for fall. I was trying to pull some other toppers that I haven't worn yet, but I needed to pull this one for Halloween. This one is specifically a topper. This is what I use it for. This is polished for days. This is in Baden. I put it over a black cream polish when I wear it, and it is the perfect glowy green flaky bomb polish. It is beautiful. There's this topper. This is by ILNP, and this one is called Ferris Wheel. This is a multicolored green topper. You can see many different color shifts in here. Absolutely stunning. I love this one. This is what that one looks like in just one coat. I am excited to pull that one out. Another little polish I made, I thinned out a polish from Orly recently called Halo, Halo, I think it's called Halo, now that I'm thinking of it. And it was a little bit more dense than I wanted. It is a gold glitter polish, but I wanted a gold micro glitter topper, so I did just add some suspension base to this one, and I thinned it out a little bit, and I love how this one looks. It is really fun. And I have that one on top of this polish here, so you can see it. And I also have it here on this color. I was trying to test it out and just see what it looked like. So that is what that gold glitter topper looks like over a base. Another topper is this one by Pipe Dream Polish. This is called Feed the Monster. This is one I got in a D-stash. This is a really fun Halloween topper. It has silver metallic hexes, orange hexes and like burgundy to purple hexes and then there's micro glitter sizes in here as well. It is in a clear base so I thought this would also be perfect for Halloween. That is what that polish looks like in one coat. The final topper I have is this one. It is one of my favorite black and white toppers. This is by Finger Paints and this is called Think Outside the Box. It is multi-sized black and white glitters in an array of sizes. There's also black bar glitters in here as well. You can see there's a couple chunkier pieces here, and then you've got a couple little pieces. I love this topper. One of my favorites. And this is what that looks like. You can see you get an array of the bar glitters in here. You also get an array of glitter sizes as well. This is a fun one. Alright guys, that is it for what is on my Halloween rack. I probably have a few too many on here. There's polishes that I'm like, did I need to put those on there? I'm not sure yet. I probably won't get to each and every one of these for Halloween because I still am working on my fall rack at this point too, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I thought this Halloween video was something fun to join in on, and I am so glad that I got to be part of this collaboration. Don't forget to check out everybody listed down in the description box to see what they have picked out for Halloween manicures. Hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before you leave. I upload videos every single week all about nail polish and would love to have you be part of the family. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you were new, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to talk about what manicures I wore for the month of September. I did not get as many manicures in as I had initially planned. I'll explain that here in a little bit, but this was not a great month for manicures. I was able to wear several polishes, but I just didn't get in quite as many as I had hoped. I think I wore six manicures and two pedicures for the month, but I did go through roughly 14 to 15 polishes. Definitely not quite, again, what I had planned, but... Sometimes life just goes that way and you just don't always get manicures done 
like you want to. So I did have a decent month. I don't think I had any manicures that I really didn't like. I do think I enjoyed each of these really well. I thought they were f fairly decent for manicures and pedicures. So there is nothing that I didn't like. There's polishes that I was really floored by. There was polishes that I'm kind of like, you know what? I didn't think this would work and it actually worked. And there was also a inspo Manny from one of my good friends on Instagram and on YouTube. And I'll talk about that here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first manicure that I wore for the month of September was by Nails Inc. And this is their Speedy Gloss line. This is called Long longing and Leicester Squire square something longing for Leicester <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to be able to say it longing for Leicester Squire square oh my goodness anyway I'll put it in the video I am so sorry about butchering that that is a tongue twister this is a really pretty cobalt blue opaque in two coats I did not do any toppers with this I think I played around with toppers for my thumbs but I don't have video or photo of those <clears throat> so I can't show that, but I just left it. I was going for a cobalt blue. I needed something. <clears throat> I needed something. <clears throat> I needed something on my nails and wanted something that would be fast drying, and those polishes are always really, really good for fast drying purposes. They dry really quickly. This wore really well. I don't remember how long I had it on, but it was beautiful nonetheless. So the first pedicure I wore for September was the sought-after cult classic polish from Dreamland Lacquer called Shake Your Shamrock. I did not get this on my fingers this time around. I wanted it on my toes, and you guys, I could see why this polish sold out. This was a PPU item earlier in the year, and then she brought it back for Rewind for July of this year. I can totally see why so many people got this polish, because it's beautiful. I did go through and get a backup of this one for Rewind this year because it's that beautiful and I hadn't even wore it at that point but I knew I was going to like it or love it and wanted to have a backup of this polish. So I do. It was so glowy. The bright green shade and then you've got that blue shimmer in this polish. I don't know about you guys but it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. One of my favorite polishes to date. This is... I can see why so many people bought this one. It was just beautiful. I had it on for two weeks, I think. Let me look. I think I had it on for two weeks, give or take. So the next manicure that I wore was a two-toned manicure. I tend to do this with polishes where I'll use two polishes and put the color on a different way for on each hand, if that makes sense. Like, I tend to do my pinky and my ring finger and my thumb one color on one hand and then do the opposite on the other hand. So I did that with this one trying to figure out a combo. This was beautiful. I don't think I liked it quite as much as I initially thought. Well, it actually didn't wear very good and I'll share that here in a second. I'm not sure what happened there, but I don't think it was the polish's fault. I think it was just chemistry maybe, body chemistry. So I wore Wildflower Lacquers Afro... And no, Anthophil 2.0 and then I paired it with Cupcake Polish. We're all mad here. Those together were beautiful. That polish from Wildflower Lacquer. 